of everything it proportions. So of course we shot that this in in ten days. Mm. So it's not anybody. The, the, everybody got some money. Not not that much money. Not I, of course. Um, um, but every time that something comes in, it gets really uh, distributed again. So I have that pack with these people, with all these groups that we've been working for long. One film helping the next one, mm. and and the little things that we can achieve, they're great things because we don't need that much. Fortunately, I like making films that are like little bit of a chamber films. So maybe if I would love to do like big things, that would be a problem for me. I would try to solve them other way. But I'm satisfied with with this production system that helps me to be more at peace and more, more free. So to the world I want. You know that they say that Shakespeare is boss of his poison. So I, <laughs> I don't know. If I would ask the producer to produce this, I don't know if that would happen. But yeah, it's very small, very limited, very much like, uh, like uh, uh, I don't know how you say this. Uh, but there is a fact between the ones that work about how things are distributed and how you maximize in the little you have. One question. I like your film and I like your views on money and production costs and so on. And very different views on that. And I guess your view on money was shown in the scene where the money was in that street map. Now I understand it and I like it very much. It almost got blue away. It was little money, but yeah. Thank you. More questions? As I noticed that uh, in the film, you a lot of shots are close up and the dog after the position of the head. So I'd like to have your opinion about why you choose that. Does it connect with the story? Um, I knew I was going to shoot theater, a theater scene, so I just questioned myself what is in theater that we can have in cinema and the other thing around. So I said when I'm in the theater I can I see the whole picture, I can choose where to see. Usually the people he who speaks is the one that I see, but some, you can decide, you can decide not to, you can decide to just see like a chair for the 90 minutes so you can see the rest of the people. So that's something very nice and very part of the theater experience. And I said, okay, I mean, but what we cannot do in theater, most conventionally, is the close-up, be very close, up close. And usually in Buenos Aires, this off-Broadway off, off, off theater system in which I like to work and like my, 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 where my actors play, uh, they're like in small theaters when you do, uh, you are very, very close, but at the same time, the close up is, is denied in theater, in general sense, I'm talking. Uh, today, everything has been done. But so I say, okay, we'll shoot um, a theater scene all in close up. And then, that is like this idea, okay, I'm imposing you to see this. But then I will go against the text and I will stay in that space because I'm much more interested in, interested in see how that those muscles move and how they react when they say the words and when they receive the words, especially. So I will stay there. And so some of that freedom that you have in theater that you disconnect, you can disconnect from it, you can get it through that. That was my idea. So I will be very close. I, will do the, I won't fall into the shot and counter shot. I will do that, but do the shot and the counter shot, but in different scenes. And you have like the counter shot at the beginning in the, in the play, and then in the rehearsal, um, the, her reaction, the uh, Olivia uh, reaction. Uh, and by being so up close, you know that some people say that the face is, is the landscape of the soul, so you can read little things. And they can act, but also they, they do react in real terms. She, I think that you can see the sparkle of the eyes, you can see the mini gestures that they are not part of a plan. It's just something that happened in the, in, the, in the shooting because of this idea of the seduction of the girl, for instance, that I knew that something was going to be produced and that I had just have to be there patiently 
waiting for it to, to come. So I was up close and for a long time. Uh, and I decided those rules, those are the scenes, check the work, and this scene that they should be looping, and what happened. And I think that the actress that, that, that does uh, uh, Olivia, she's really, she's truly uncomfortable. 